Hey everyone, Jamie here with Originality AI. Originality AI is a plagiarism and AI content detector, boasting 99% accuracy for its AI content detection. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing how plagiarism tools work. This is going to be a walkthrough of an article that was posted on Originality AI. I will link to that article in the description below. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so here we are on the How Does Plagiarism Detection Work article. So it's just going to be reading through this, uh, kind of discussing it, going over the key points. So in the opening paragraph, we are discussing the fact that plagiarism detection might seem pretty straightforward at first glance, but in fact, there's a lot more processing and deep analysis that goes into plagiarism detection than you would initially think. It involves deep analysis of lots of different texts found in a database that the tool has provided and can sometimes even involve artificial intelligence. So if we go on to the step one of the comparing text. So the first step in the process is to take a snapshot of the text. So we're going to clear all the formatting of that text. We're going to make it so it's just the text. There's no bold or italics or anything like that. That's going to make it easier for the tool to compare. It's then just going to get a broad overview of the topic so that it knows what to look for when we're searching through the database. So the second step actually involves the databases that's used to store the comparing text. These can be academic essays, books, blog posts, articles, loads of different uh, varieties of content. And these documents are made searchable through different algorithms that the tool will use. So after that pre-processing that I mentioned earlier, when we clear the formatting, the text is going to start looking through the database to see if it can detect any similarities. So the text will be broken down into individual sentences or phrases, and then those phrases will be searched for in the database to see if it can find any matching ones. Different algorithms are used to determine the percentage similarity between the provided text and the compared text. These percentages can be really handy when determining the likelihood that a piece of content has been plagiarized from a different piece of content. So an important, really crucial factor to consider is the threshold adjustment. This is really just how sensitive the tool is to determining if a piece of content has been plagiarized or not. So if the threshold adjustment is set to really high, that's going to mean that instances of actual plagiarism can be allowed to seep through as it's not going to be as strict. Whereas if it's low, it can be detected even with perceived similarity. So that could be in the case of something like an idiom or an anecdote or just something that people would commonly use. That can be detected and that could potentially be misconstrued as plagiarism and determined a false positive. And finally, step six, the tool is going to prepare a report. So that's going to highlight the individual phrases and sentences that have been detected as potentially plagiarized. And that's going to give us hopefully a percentage report as well. It's also going to highlight the areas of the compared text or so the database of text. And it's going to help us understand where exactly that particular phrase or sentence was found in the database. And therefore, hopefully there'll be a link to a URL or an article or a book to show us exactly where that text has been copied from. So Originality AI detects plagiarism in a couple of different ways. We use our advanced AI algorithm to help us identify plagiarized text. We also have a large database of blog posts and books and things like that, which is used to help determine if a piece of content has been plagiarized. So AI has come a long way recently and is now almost indistinguishable from human written text. But there are a couple of key factors that can help us determine if content has been written by AI. This can be repeated phrases, really perfect grammar and punctuation, repetitive sentences, and also just general factual inaccuracies. AI can hallucinate facts and this would lead to a factual inaccuracy. There are also different signs that would help us determine if content has been written by AI. These are deeper things such as perplexity and burstiness. Perplexity is just how complex a text is. So if it's going into lots of detail, if it has ups and downs and maybe we're speaking along the topic and then we go further into that topic as well and then we pull back out, that would determine the perplexity of text. Bustiness is sentence variation. So how long or short a text is, how long or short a paragraph is. Humans typically write pretty inconsistently, so we'll have a short sentence, then a long sentence, whereas AI will write consistently the entire way through a piece of text. I hope you found this walkthrough useful. Find us at originality.ai. Check out our plagiarism and AI detection We've also recently included a readability analysis to help you get a more holistic idea of how easy your content is going to be to read for your target audience. I've been Jamie with Originality AI. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.